Magandang umaga muli sa ating lahat. Mapagpalang umaga sa atin. Kumusta po ang ating Thursday? So bago po tayo mag-umpisa sa ating devotion, tayo po ay manalangin. O oh, ama naming makapangyarihan, Diyos magpakailanman, kami po ay dumudulog sa iyo at humihingi ng kapatawaran sa mga bagay na nagawa at naisip namin. Salamat po o Diyos sa biyaya mo araw-araw at mga provision sa aming pangangailangan. We commit to you our devotion today. May you be glorified and be lifted up forever and ever. Amen. Hello muli sa ating lahat. Sino po dito ang hindi napapagod? Alam ko po tayo po ay napapagod. Lahat po tayo ay may napapagod sa mga bagay-bagay na naiisip, nagagawa, at saka yung sa emotion na tayo rin ay napapagod doon. So, tignan natin, basahin natin sa Isaiah 40.31. Sabi dito, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. So, sabi dito na lahat po na linagay ang hope sa ating Panginoon na re-renew ang kanilang strength na para bang agila kung lilipad. Tumakbuman sila. They will not go tired. Kahit naman na malayo ang kanilang dinalakad, hindi po sila nag-faint. So, tignan po natin sa verse 30. Sabi, Even youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. Kahit po yung mga kabataan na sila po ay walang kapaguran pero napapagod rin. Lahat po tayo, bata man, um, uh, nasa matanda man, lahat po tayo ay napapagod. Pero ang sabi nga ng Biblia, na those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. So, why do we put our hope in the Lord? Bakit po natin ilagay ang ating hope sa Panginoon? So, why? Is a, um, number one is, He is an everlasting God. Creator of the heavens and the earth. Siya po ay everlasting God. He lives forever and ever. Siya po ang lumikha ng mundo at ang kalang at ang heavens at ang mga nilalaman nito. At hindi po napapagod ang ating Panginoon. Number two, bakit po natin ilagay ang ating hope sa Panginoon? He will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding, no one can fathom. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko, hindi po siya napapagod. Wala siya pong kapaguran. At ang, at ang kanyang katalaynuhan at ang kanyang pag-iisip ay wala, walang sino man makakapag-measure nito o kaya makakapag- sabi at hindi po siya ang kanya pong understanding o ang kanyang um, wisdom is unfathomable 
hindi po na may measure. Number three, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. So, binibigyan niya ng kalakasan ang mga napapagod at increases the power of, yung, of the weak. Yun po ang ating Panginoong Diyos kung bakit natin ilagay ang ating hope sa Kanya. Kasi, yan po ang mga rason na dapat natin ilagay ang hope sa ating Panginoon. Ngayong umaga po ay ipanalangin po ulit natin ang ating mga missionaries for their, and our and churches all around the globe for their strength, perseverance, and encouragement. So makipag-isa po kayo sa amin na ipanalangin ang itong it, ang ating mga missionaries at mga churches all around the globe. Pag nakikita po natin ay ang daming persecutions na nangyayari sa iba't ibang bansa. At sila po ay na persecute ang mga missionaries, na persecute at ang mga ating mga churches. sa ibang bansa ay napapersecute din. So, umpisan po natin ipanalangin. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We come to you today to pray for our missionaries and churches around the globe. Our missionaries who sacrifice their lives and families for the sake of the gospel. Please give them the strength when the times that they are weak and they want to give up. Give them love when they feel forsaken. Courage when they feel afraid. Wisdom, O God, when they feel foolish. Comfort them, O Lord, when they are alone. Hope when they feel rejected. Peace when they are in turmoil. Many churches, O God, are being persecuted because of their faith. Give them peace, O Lord, my God. And these missionaries and churches, and we churches as well, put our hope in you, and you promise to renew our strength. We will soar on wings like eagles. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and not faint. O oh Lord, encourage our missionaries with your love and truth. We pray that you will lift them out of despair and weary. In these dark times, please counsel and guide them with your word. Help them, O oh God, to rise above any circumstances and place conf confidence in your goodness and compassion. May this verse, Psalm 112, verse 6 to 7, O oh God, will encourage them. As you said, surely he will never be shaken. A righteous will be remembered forever. He will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Yes, O Lord, our missionaries will be forever remembered. O God, Lord, the churches who put their faith in you will be forever remembered. As members of the body of Christ, may we be also in 
encourage with your word. Persecutions are everywhere. Lord, your words will keep us going with our faith. We always cling to your promises. Lord, we will rebuke and discouragement, disappointment, fear, doubt upon the lives and families of our missionaries and churches as well. Lord, bring people across our path that we can share your love. Give us the strength and endurance to run the race of faith. Oh God, we put to you, O oh Lord, into your hands the lives of these missionaries that have sent, that have sent unto all the world. Likewise to every church around, this, around the globe. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen.